Just so. Vietnam. 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 Just so Vietnam. In this episode of Just So Vietnam, let's join Sam to get some tips about how to deal with the hot weather in Hanoi. Later on, we will follow our guest Shu Dak Chung to discover the oldest poetry Jar Kim in Bing Zhong province. And this is our host, Martin Boss. Hello and welcome to Just So Vietnam. In recent days, the temperatures in Vietnam have gotten up to almost 40 degrees Celsius, which is well over 100 degrees Fahrenheit. It's summer here and it's hot, really, really hot. So let's join Sam in his segment Just Ask to get some tips on how to stay cool during the hot days and to see how the people of Hanoi are dealing with the heat wave. Hi, I'm Sam for Just Ask. It's a scorching day here in Hanoi. Let me tell you that the hot weather here is one of the main nuisances. I've been here for nearly two years though, so I know how to keep it cool. Here's my top tips for dealing with the hot weather in Vietnam. In this hot weather, it's easy to lose a lot of fluids through sweating, which can cause dehydration or maybe even worse. Remember to always bring a bottle of water with you just to stay hydrated. Things like this are commonly found in Vietnam. It might look funny, but it's necessary to protect yourself from the elements. The ultraviolet index can reach harmful levels during the summer season. You should definitely bring the following items with you, especially if you're going by motorbike. Sun cream. Sunglasses. Mask. Coat. Now. I'm ready to go. Oh. This is the ultimate. If all else fails, then find somewhere with aircon. You can often find locals enjoying the cool in restaurants or even convenience stores. <laughs> On a hot summer day, you can still enjoy the Hanoi nightlife. Why don't you meet your friends with some ice cream, some chair, or maybe some chada? Or you could try taking a bike ride and enjoying the cool summer breeze. So, those are our top tips. I hope it helps you to not only deal with the heat, but also have a good time too. Have fun. Located in the southeastern region, Bing Zhuang is a vibrant and dynamic province with a lot of industrial zones and factories. However, the province is also famous for its craft villages. So today, let's join our guest, Xu Takchun, to visit a 160-year-old pottery jar making workshop, Dai Hung Pottery Jar Kiln, and to see how the trade is being maintained and preserved. Bingzhong province is very famous for its craft villages and today we are in one of them and we are visiting a famous workshop which is actually 160 years old making these jars made of pottery and let's go and visit inside to see how the trade is still well maintained and meeting the people. 
See you there. Dai Hung Pottery Jar Kiln is also known as Dai Hung Ancient Pottery Kiln. What's special about this pottery kiln is that all products here are still made by hand with traditional methods. First, clay is kept in cellars for 12 hours so that it is perfectly soft before it is rammed into smooth blocks. In the kneading phase, clay is cut into thinner pieces and then put into molds so that it will be kneaded into two halves of a jar. Finally, a potter will put the two halves together to make a jar. So this is Wook Wook. Uh, this is the smallest item of the workshop right here. And this is what we are doing here is that this jar is going to be uh, assembled because it's made of two pieces, one on the bottom and the top. So what I'm doing, I'm stirring and smoothing inside the joint. I do the same outside. This one? Okay, so I got this tool and trying to fix the joint which is outside. Right here. And okay. okay, good. Okay, so I will get some water, which is right here with this sponge, which is quite muddy feeling. It's <laughs> quite uncomfortable. But this is why it's going to make it everything smoother right here. Okay. It's really more and more smooth along the way when you do it. Is it okay? okay. Good. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> so I, I tried to put it there back. Now it's ready. I'm going to put it back among all the jars right here. And what we need to do is that when you hold these jars, you make sure that you pull all the, the strength at the bottom. Otherwise, you can deform the overall shape. And I'm just putting it here among all the others. And I'm very really grateful to try this one as a beginner. And now this jar is going to be uh, drying until tomorrow morning uh, among all the, the rest. After being dried, jars will be covered with enamels before being put into the kiln. After being burned for three days and three nights, jars with brownish shiny enamel can be taken out of the kiln. cái lưu này thì theo từ ngày xưa tới giờ thì người dân người ta đã rất dụng rồi mà tới bây giờ thì những cái mặt hàng nhôm ha inox đi đánh của hỗn hỗn qua này là tại vì họ nghĩ rằng đựng nước hay đựng mắm gì nó cũng không có qua bằng cái lưu cái hàng lưu của mình thì bây giờ cả tới nước Campuchia, Lào, Thái Lan thì bây giờ người ta cũng đang cần cái lưu của lịch sử của Bình Dương mình The special thing about the Dai Hung pottery jar kiln, which can be found nowhere else, is that generations of potters always work diligently to preserve this craft. With their bare hands, potters here create rustic products that are characteristic of traditional cultures of Bingzi. In our Just Go today, we will bring you some interesting information about famous destinations here in Vietnam. Let's join us on our journey. Here we go! If you love drawing and you want to try drawing on coracle boats, then you can visit Tam Thang Village in Quang Nam Province and join the Tam Ki Sea Festival that's being held between the 13th and the 16th of June. The activity has attracted the participation of the artists and volunteers from across the country. 
Apart from 20 professional painters, the project has gathered photographers, sculptures and cultural researchers. The paintings will be exhibited on Sunday to celebrate the opening of the Tamtang Village Community Art Project three years ago. The project was initiated from an experimental project titled Developing Tourism with the Participation of Local Community in Tam Tang. Cloud hunting and a range of camping activities are some of the exciting experiences on offer for young people who want to explore it a lot in Langdon province this summer. From mid-June to July, Hanbol Peak is seen as a popular destination for camping activities as tourists come to savor the scenic view of the city at night or the beautiful white clouds during the early morning. A camping tour is priced between 20 and 40 US dollars for a single person per night. Camping activities during the night are considered to be a wonderful experience for young travelers to savor the scenic views of the city. Visitors are advised to pack warm clothes and sleeping bags to fight the cold with hits at night and not to camp in the lot from September to December due to the heavy rain that strikes during these periods. And with that we come to the end of this episode. Now if you like this program be sure to leave your comments on the VTV World fan page and to subscribe to our YouTube channel. I hope to see you in another episode. My name is Martijn and this was Just So Vietnam.